Today we're going to be replacing our seatbelt on our 2005 Chrysler Pacifica. First thing you got to do is make sure your seat is pushed all the way up by using your tabs and get it all the way up out of the way because we're going to have to remove some molding starting with this down here and that will go all the way up and then we'll take some screws out. It's a pretty simple procedure so anybody should be able to do it. So for this project you're going to need three tools, flathead screwdriver, torque wrench, with 10 millimeters and a torque bench with 21 millimeters. Those are all things you'll need to get this project done. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to, this, this mechanism, of course, make sure your uh, seatbelt goes up or down. So you probably want to just pop that off. I've already pre removed it. It's got two clips, one up here and one right here, and they just come right off. You need to get that out of the way so you can get to the bolt right here, which we will be taking off. Once we take off the similar bolt, which is down here, take by taking this sim this bolt off, we'll be able to remove this panel, which basically is just a couple of clips. Of course, I remove this. It's dry. Everything's clipped in, so there's no no worry about that. But you can't get this panel off until we remove this bolt. So let's go get our torque wrench, and I'll start removing bolts. For this application, we'll use a 21 millimeter screw bolt remover. Just pop that right on there. It's a pretty long bolt. It was in there pretty good, so let's get everything off here. One down. Now we're going to remove this one up here so we can get this off. And then we'll pop this panel off so we can get to, there's also a uh, couple of bolts down there and a, an electronic cord that you have to plug in and out which goes and tells your car CPU that your seatbelt is belt is uh, attached. Okay, so this is our new, or what, it's a replacement seat belt. It's not new. We got it at the used car parts store, basically the junkyard. But they're great for parts. They're really cheap. We picked ours up for $40, and, uh, you know, it's going to function just like the one we have in there. So we have two 10 millimeter bolts right here, and we're going to unscrew those. This, this little bracket will come off. You never really actually take the seat belt off that because, as you can see on our replacement, it has the bracket already. So you're just gonna remove these bolts and then when we put the new seat belt in, we'll, we'll bolt the other one right in the same place. All right, so we've removed our two 10 millimeter screws from up here and we're just gonna take it down and uh, put it over here. So we popped this, we popped this out, but it's, it's stuck on the other side. We don't wanna take anything else apart, but check this out. You can just move it like this and sit it right there so it's out of the way. You don't have to remove anything else over there. Okay. So we just have to remove one more bolt, which is right here. It's holding the whole mechanism in. And it's another 10 millimeter. So let's get to doing that. that one out this bolt is actually bolted onto the motor so you don't have to worry about that it slides right up and comes right out you'll have to remove two clips this one has a little clip over here might want to get a oh, you can just use your finger just pull it right this up one. just gotta get your screwdriver right in here 
okay? And it'll pop right out, just like that. We have our new motor, so we're just gonna plug our plug back in here. Just like that. And put this guy back in here. He'll click, make a clicky noise. Like that. And now, now take it back in. Here, like that, and we'll get our screw. And we'll tighten it up. We are reattaching these two bolts with your kind of a hanger thing. And we'll get those in and we'll make them as tight as humanly possible. Okay, so we're gonna reattach this, but before you do, you know, we pop this out. So make sure you get it in there as tight as you can so you can put your bolt straight in. Pretty tight. I mean, it's still going to move around because when you pull your seatbelt, it this part has to move. So don't be worried about that. So far, we're we're right on schedule. I'm going to pull the cover back down here like this and start to line it up. With the, it has to be lined up. Make sure we lift this up over here. Get those lined up and snap those in. This goes. This is just a piece of plastic. Plastic trim. Line these up down here. So you just this 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 little reveal here. This actually slides right up. You don't have to take anything off. We'll pull it down, and we're gonna. Put this right back in here and screw screw that bad boy in. Oh. Now that we have our screw in, we're just gonna slide this piece right over it, and that's really all you do for that. And now we're gonna finish off the top. You slide it in the top like that. in here we go the only thing left for us to do and yours might have one but this doesn't have a stopper and uh, we're going to try to get the old one off our seat belt and put it in if not we'll go to AutoZone or Advance or O'Reilly's or any of the auto parts store and get a seat belt stopper now that we have everything in we're ready to try it out and make sure all our connections are correct I'm gonna put my seat back so I can try the seat belt make sure it works Pulls out pretty good, snaps on. My seatbelt light is off. Looks like this job project is done. If you like our video, please hit the like button, and we'd love it if you could subscribe to our video channel, Martin G's Cars and Collectibles. Hope this video helped. Thanks.